All right, Shalom. It's the brothers from the GMS North Carolina came back for another video. Before we go any further, of all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rukhar Kodash, double honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone over teaching us to represent truth according to the Bible well and peace and blessings so reflect of the nation of Israel. I'm the brother Isaiah. And coming back at you through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Shai with a, a Lord's willing and a fine lesson on seeking the Lord. You know, we're coming to, you know, we're entering to uh, perilous times. Like tells you in 2 Timothy 3 and 1 that in the last days perilous times shall come. You know, and for those who have been measuring the times diligently within itself, you know, we can see clearly and know and understand that Yah by Shema Shai is visiting this world. You know, he's bringing judgment, you know, via these inflations. Everything that's happened on the earth, you know, whether it's one of the Esau's policies, you know, a natural disaster, you know, a building falling on someone. These things are all or or orchestrated and ordained by the Heavenly Father, you know, Yah by Shema Shai. You know, in the times we're coming into, you're going to need the Lord on your side more than ever. If you don't got a precept, bro, we can start off with the Isaiah 33. I got you. This is the book of Isaiah 33, verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. That's right. And what wisdom and knowledge is it talking about? It's talking about, can you get Romans 15 and 4? It's talking about the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Holy Bible. You see? Which we must be fully persuaded in believing in. You know, understanding and knowing the different accounts of the many miracles the Lord performed in the ancient times is going to give you that strong confidence needed that these things are going to happen again. Understanding that our Lord, our Lord Yahweh Shai was persecuted, so persecuted the, the real prophets that were before us, you know, that we're going to be persecuted. You know, those things should bring comfort to you. You got it. Okay. This is Romans chapter 15, verse 4. For whatsoever things was written before time were written for our learning. Mm -hmm. That we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. That's right. The things that are written before time is talking about these words. You know, the Lord, you know, put the Spirit on holy men to write down these, you know, to write down His words, the words of the Heavenly Father. You see, and put them in the book. And that book is the Holy Bible. And through patience and comfort of the scriptures, we have hope. You know, we go through our little sufferings. We go through our hell. But understanding and knowing that all those who trust in Yahweh by Shema Shai has never been forsaken, that should give you comfort in your afflictions. You know, we look at the patience of Job, you know, and, and all that. He, he maintained his integrity in Yahweh by Shema Shai, you know. So we ought to, you know, gather that knowledge up, you know, to be a great defense during these perilous times that are fastly approaching. You can go back to Isaiah 33, unless you had a precept. Oh, no. This is the book of Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. That's right. Understanding these scriptures, that's what's going to be, that's going to be, our, our faith, you know, that you look up that word stability in the blue letter and go to the root word goes into your faith, you know, your fidelity is, is it's going to be our, it's going to be our lifeline, you know, during these times, this is what's going to keep us stable while everybody else is bugging out, while everybody else, you know, is, is in a confused state, you know, the Lord, he's going to keep our minds clear, you know, he's going to guide us, he's, he's the guide of them, who keep his commandments and precepts and that wisdom during these times are going to meet us in every thought. Oh, you know, that's this scripture. Do this, you know, or this scripture is going to come to mind how to handle certain situations. You know, having the understanding that we are to never trust our enemy and trusting our enemy and going down for him to help, you know, it's going to lead to our utter demise in that the, the just shall live by faith and not by sight. You know, that should give you strong confidence in Yahweh by Shema Shai that he is a... He's a stronghold, you know, in the day of trouble. 
you know this is why you should be seeking this now you should be putting your energy and effort in seeking you know yahweh by shema shah you got it bro you get the uh, next priest up i'm sorry keep reading okay and it says and strength of salvation mm -hmm. the fear of the lord is his treasure that's right it says and strength of salvation so this this knowledge is going to be the strength of our salvation it's going to be vital for us being saved and delivered you know the fear of the lord you know is a treasure that we have you know stumbled upon through the grace of yah by shema shai you know and we got to make sure we're utilizing that treasure what's the fear of the lord uh the knowledge of these scriptures you know knowing what to do to please yah by shema shai you know and knowing what to do to stay in his good gracious you know you got it uh, I had a quick piece of for you. Okay. This is the book of Psalms 112, verse 1. Praise ye the Lord. Less is the man that feareth the Lord. Okay. You got it, bro. Okay. It says, Blessed is the man that feareth the Lord. Now, we brothers always go into that word blessed, those in the highly favored, man, or ones who's most fortunate. Okay? And that's going into those that fear the Lord, which is going into the elect. Because under the elect of Yahweh, by Shem Yashah, is going to fear the Lord, understand these scriptures, and be protected and delivered in these times. And we're hoping to be a part of that number. And it says, and the light of greatly in his commandments. See, this is something that we love to do. Keep the law, statutes, and commandments of the Bible to the best of our ability, you know, and getting into these scriptures, man. This is something that we delight greatly, man. Because it's a gift from Yahweh, by Shem Yashah. And it's something that we uh, we cherish and value the most in this life that we're living in, man. You know, the Lord's willing, we endure until the end, so that Lord's willing might be saved. That was going on. That's right. You can get the next precept up in Baruch. Yes, sir. This is the book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse 28. And it reads, it says, For as it was your mind, to go astray from the Lord, so be in return, seek him ten times more. That's right. It was our mind. We went astray. You know, we, you know, thought our ways was higher than the Heavenly Father ways. We thought we had it figured out down here upon the earth. And look where that led us, right? Into captivity. You know, Jake was going hard, you know, in, in, in wickedness, thinking that they was doing it right. And look where that's led you. You know, now it, it led us to what? Us being discontinued from our heritage, you know, and hardcore bondage and slavery. But now the Lord is allowing us to return, you know, by rising, by rising up his prophets, you know, giving us his names, you know, uh, once again that we should call upon in um, reverence and fear. You know, he's giving us our identity back. You know, and the things that are needful for us to please him. Uh, jump down to Baruch 4, I believe it's verse 5. Okay. Uh, do you want me to finish that off right quick? Oh, uh, no. Okay. Uh, and we'll read it one more time. God, this is Baruch 4, verse 28. Oh, can, uh, well, I, sorry, can you just jump down to 5 and then we'll jump back? Okay, okay, so I can. No, you get throw out the Baruch. This is, uh, this is the book of Baruch 4, verse 5. It says, be of good cheer, my people. Start four. This is the group, group four, verse four. This is, O Israel, happy are we. For things that are pleasing unto the Lord are made known unto us. That's the point. Yep, that's the point, brother. The water. You know, the things that are made known unto Yahweh by Shema Shah are made known unto us. So the things that are made known unto the Lord, you know, we should be trying ten times more. You know, going, you know, to the maximum capacity of us seeking him, you know, to do those things which are well pleasing unto him. You know, the Lord is made known also as what pleased him. So we got to go 10 times, 10 times harder, you know, and making sure we're doing those things down here upon the earth. And as you see, you know, starting with the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, the spirit of us doing more is out in the earth right now because we're coming to the times of the end you know so now you know well should you be seeking you know some financial stability when we know that the only stability 
Only ones who are going to be stable are those who have the God of Jacob on their side. You see, the God of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you need your power on your side. He's our lifeline. He's our everything. You see, you, you can jump back to verse 28. This is the book of Baruch 4, verse 28. For as it was your mind to go astray from the Lord, so being returned, seek him ten times more. God, so being returned, seek him ten times more. That's right. Now that we're returned, we got this knowledge, now's the time to seek the Lord ten times more while we have this grace period because... You know, there's going to come a time where you can't seek Yahweh by Shema Shai anymore. There's going to come a time, you know, where the, the words of Yahweh by Shema Shai are going to be taken off the streets, going to be taken off the internet. You know, you're going to have to have this wisdom, you know, to be able to, you know, inside of you, in your mind, that the wisdom, knowledge, of understanding of the scripture is going to be hid in the minds of the believers, in the minds of the elect, those who took this grace period, you know, for what it was meant to be, you know, and got right. You know, knowing the things that please the Lord is going to be a great defense, you know, when temptation, during that hour of temptation, you see? Uh, you got it, bro. You can get the next precept. This is the book of Isaiah 55, verse 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Yeah, while he may be found. You're supposed to be seeking the Lord. Can you get that definition of for seek, bro? Yes, sir. Come while while the Lord may be found, you know, while while we have this opportunity, you know, to seek him, you know, you got it, whenever. This is the definition of the word seek. It says attempt to find something. Hmm. It says uh attempt to desire to obtain or achieve something. Yeah, if you if you're attempting something, you're attempting to find something. You're you're putting in the effort that's needed for you, you know, to find it. You know, you're seeking it. It yeah. says attempting to the uh. What was the second one, bro? It says attempt to or desire to obtain or to achieve something. Yeah, and what we desire to achieve to obtain is the kingdom of heaven. You know, which starts with this knowledge that should be inside of you, <laughs> you know, so you can shine as light in the world, you see, and, gl and so that men may see your good works and glorify uh, your father, which is in heaven. You know, we're supposed to be that Zion, that uh, that monument, you know, to, to, to let the nations know that our heavenly father, that he is, that he exists, that he's a power in the earth, you know, and that he's dealing with the Israelites, you know, so we got to be those examples, you know, and also examples to the flock, you know, so we got, you know, we got other actions speak louder than our words. And by doing and, and you do these things by seeking Yahweh Shema Shai, seeking a, a perfection, you know, like scripture tell you in Matthew, be perfect as your heavenly father in heaven is perfect, you know. That was it on definitions? Yep. Got it. You got it. This is the back in Isaiah 55 verse 6. Seek ye the Lord, while he may be found. Mm -hmm. Call ye upon him while he is near. Yeah, call upon him while he is near. And how then shall you call upon him in whom ye have not believed? And how shall you believe in him in whom ye have not heard? And how shall you hear of him except... Yahweh by Shema Shai raise up those teachers to teach you. So the teachers, which are the apostles of Great Millstone, you see, are teaching, you know, the names of Yahweh by Shema Shai, teaching us what pleased the Lord, you know, and we ought to continue the things that we have learned and been assured of and follow in their footsteps, you know, and teach our people, you know, what pleased the Lord. Teach our people. You know, what Yahweh by Shema Shai delights in, what he requires of us. And be those examples. And be not a hypocrite when we speak. You see? You got it? Verse 7. Let the wicked forsake his way. And the unrighteous man his thoughts. That's right. The way you thought was correct, you know, amongst you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. That's the wicked that is talking about, the wicked of our people. The way you thought was correct... You know, the thoughts you were meditating on, 
you know, because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh, you know, and, you know, a man purpose in his mind, you know, what he's going to do before he does it, you know, you got to forsake those things. So those things were wicked, you know, they were vain, they were unprofitable, you know, they were all about forwarding your life here in America, they're all about, you know, securing the bag, chasing women, you know, really chasing vanity that it's all going to pass away. Go ahead, bro. And it says, and the righteous man is thought. It says, let him return unto the Lord. That's right. Let him return, you know, to turn back. You know, let him turn back to the Lord. Because we were the ones who went astray. We were the ones who, who left the path that the Heavenly Father has drawn for us. You know, now the Lord is calling us to return, you know, and obviously the only ones who can return to turn back to their, you know, <laughs> you know, back to where they came from, you know, are the Israelites. So we were the one that that was given the covenant, you know, and now we've broken that covenant. But through the mercies of the Heavenly Father and the sacrifice of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, you know, who died, you know, for, for the sins of the world of Israel. You see, we have, you know, redemption through his blood, you know, so now we got, we're on the grace. We got to take this grace period seriously. You got it. And it says, and he will have mercy upon you. Yep. And to our power, for he will abundantly pardon. Yep, for he will have mercy upon us. You know, the Lord's having mercy. You know, he's giving us his time to get right, the time to seek him. You know, he's going to have mercy upon us, those who are taking this grace period for what it's meant to be. You know, and he's going to abundantly pardon our sins because that's what we need. When you read the prayer of Manasseh, you know, it goes into that we have sinned more than the hairs on our head. You know, and you can't count the number of hairs on your head. So, you know, we've sinned a lot, you know, and we know the wages of sin are worthy of death. You know, and us knowing this, that death, you know, is is lurking around the corner if we don't have Yahweh Shema Shai on our side. We're not on the side of the Lord. We're not on, you know, you know, blessed. You know, brother brought that scripture out being blessed of those who fear the Lord. We're blessed. Highly favored in the eyes of the Heavenly Father. You know, that's not a light thing. You can get the next Yeah. Um you can get that Amos and then we we'll close out on Zephaniah. This is Amos chapter 8, verse 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord Power, that I will send a famine in the land. Not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. But of hearing the words of the Lord, that's what's coming. You see, a famine, a shortage of hearing the words of Yahweh by Shema Shai. You know, that, 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 that's what's coming. You know, so you don't got all day to turn back. You don't have, you know, you know, all this time in the world. <laughs> you know, as they say, you know, the time is short. You see, the scriptures say, make no tearing to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. For suddenly, when something happens, suddenly happens unexpectedly. The day of the Lord shall catch you as a thief in the night, right? For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy securities thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. So our people, if you find secu we find security in the knowledge of Yahweh by Shema Shah. We find safety, you know, being covered, you know, being under that coverage under the shadow of the Almighty. That's where we find security. So that in the day of vengeance, in the day of the Lord, we may, you know, may be, you know, exalted, you know. Scripture say in, in due season, if we faint not, you know, we shall be, we shall be exalted, right? Read verse 12. Amos 8 verse 12. And they shall wander from sea to sea. Who's, who, who's the they? The non-believers. You know, those that they want to seek Yahweh by Shema Shai. You're going to be wandering. Now is the time... <laughs> To seek the Lord, you see, but that you're gonna be one, you're gonna be searching for us, and then you're gonna be searching for the videos, you're gonna be searching for the breakdowns, for the understanding, what to do, what are the names, you know, you got it. And from the north, even 
even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. You see? You ain't gonna find it. You ain't gonna find it if um during those times. You ain't gonna find it when all hell's breaking loose. So why wait? You know? Why wait? Why wait to seek you out by Shemel and Shai? You got it, Zephaniah? This is the book of Zephaniah, chapter two, verse one. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation not desire. O nation not desire, talking about the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You know, in the land of our captivity, in the four corners, and also in the four corners of earth where we've been scattered, you know, we're t- it's time for us to gather ourselves together by the words of the Holy One. We're being gathered together, you know, glorifying Yah by Shema Shai. You know, come in that same spirit of understanding, you know, what the Lord is about to do to this world, about to bring to the planet Earth. You see? You got it. Verse 2. Before the decree bring forth, mm. before the day pass as the chaff. Yeah, before the uh, you know, before, <laughs> before the decree bring forth, before the day pass as a shaft, as a shaft. You see, before you know, <laughs> scripture say the harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. You know, and what what was that parable in Matthew's? You know, the Lord called laborers to his uh to his harvest, you know, said and to work and they work for that penny. You know, so we should be working towards that penny, the kingdom of heaven. You know? Oh, Matthew twenty two, right? He called the laborers, but but they they all of one, you know, one after another began to make excuses. You know, you don't want to make excuses before this deal goes down. You see? You got it. And it says, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you. Mm, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you. That's what's coming, the day of the Lord. And we're blowing the trumpet warning you to get right. You know, Ezekiel 3 and 17, right? The Lord has made us the watchman. Son of man, I've made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, give them warning for me. These, these epistles... Electronic epistles, right? These are these are the words of the Heavenly Father being spoken. This message is from the Lord. You got it? It says, uh, before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you. Mm, you got it. Verse 3. Seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth. That's right. Because the Lord, you know, he's going to resist the proud. Those who are proud and lofty. You know, they're going to be brought low. You know, but those who are humble, they're going to be the ones exalted. The meek, the lowly shall inherit the earth, right? So it says, seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth. Those who are of a humble, contrite spirit, you know, who feel remorseful for the things that we've done, you know, as a nation. And, and it's seeking the Lord in sincerity and in truth. You got it. Which of what is judgment? Mm-hmm. Seek righteousness, seek meekness. It may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. That's right. So, in the day of the Lord's anger, you know, Yahweh Shema Shai is going to preserve us, you know, by us what? Seeking meekness and righteousness, you know, which that's all found in the Holy Scriptures, you know, the wisdom, knowledge, understanding, you know, which is being taught by the Apostle Noah's Great Millstone. You know, teaching us how we should be productive ourselves in our day to day lives. You know, not only on the weekend, not only on not only on Friday when you go out, or Saturday or Sunday. You know, but but every day of the week. You know, we're supposed to be those examples. You know, we should be our examining ourselves uh, more and more as the day of Yahweh Shema Shai approaches. Uh, we'll get one scripture and close it out. Can you, can you get the book of Sirach eighteen and twenty? Ecclesiasticus chapter 18 verse 20 before judgment examine thyself Mm -hmm. and in the day of visitation thou shalt find mercy that's right before judgment and that judgment is coming 
The day of Yahweh Shema Shai, you should be examining yourselves. You look at that word examine, it means to investigate. <laughs> you gotta you gotta do a thorough investigation that you're doing all that needs to be done. You know? Making sure you got your things in order, you know. You got the Lord about to come and visit you. <laughs> you know, you, you wanna make sure you wanna make sure the house is clean, you know, it's it's tidy, you know, there's there's no uh Elephants in the room, so to speak, you know You got to make sure everything is in order and if you do those things when the Lord begins to visit the world Which he made you're gonna find mercy and we all need the mercies of Yahweh by Shema Shai and the Lord loved none but them that are dwelling with this knowledge that with this wisdom uh, You want to bring any precepts out before we close out? God, I wanted to make a, a quick statement to the spirit Mm -hmm. Because, yeah, because um, you was going into uh, keeping your house in order. It's just like on a physical level. The same way how your father or your mother left the house, it should be the same way or even better when you, uh, when they return, man. Right? So that's what we're doing spiritually. The same way how Yahweh Shemash left the house, we want to make sure that it's the same way when he returns, man, right? as he commanded us to, uh, to keep it, you know? Come. That's right. That's right, bro. Well, Lord's willing, you're edified. With that, we're going to close out giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh. Yahweh. Shem. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Shem. Rukakwadash. Divine the Apostle and others are great millstone are teaching us from sin and truth according to Barma well and peace and blessings so reflect the nation of Israel. Next time we say Shalom. Shalom.